What's going on you guys, Wave Images here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be trying to fix my 18 inch subwoofer. You guys probably think that I just blew my 18 inch sub, but I actually didn't. Because for one, I have all my settings set correctly, but also I've checked the voice coil many times and the voice coil looks perfectly fine. But the issue that I'm having is whenever I play my subwoofer at high volumes, and get this, it doesn't happen at every frequency. I tested it and it actually only happens around like 25 to 27 hertz. But whenever I played at high volumes around 25 to 27 hertz, I get this weird noise, like it's almost disconnecting. And I get this weird popping sound. It's not a sound of it bottoming out because for one around them frequencies It's not really moving a ton since it's pretty close to his tuning frequency And I've even tested my subwoofer for like 12 or 13 Hertz and I've turned it way up where it was moving a ton But at them super low frequencies whenever I had a ton of excursion I wouldn't get that weird noise It would only happen around like 25 to 27 Hertz and I have no idea why that's happening But the noise also happens randomly too because whenever I'm listening to music around them frequencies It won't happen every single time it hits it only happens a couple times it hits also of course whenever I want to demonstrate it for you guys it doesn't happen and i can't really be playing my subwoofer at max volume right now because i'm not really trying to annoy all my people in my house but trust me guys it happens i don't think the subwoofer is broken but there possibly is a disconnection when i'm playing it but i also think that it could be sawdust because i do know that there was some leftover sawdust that i really couldn't get to because i have seen sawdust on the actual magnet of the subwoofer and just on the subwoofer basket itself so that could be the issue but i won't know until i get it out of the box So I just checked the voice coil and the voice coil looks perfectly fine. So I'm gonna bring it to my garage and I'm gonna spray it with some compressed air. I'm really hoping that'll fix it as I do think that this could actually be the problem. And then after I'll do a free air test. Alright guys, so I just got done air compressing my subwoofer and it definitely helped it out. All that sawdust is gone, or at least I hope so. I'm hoping that this is going to fix the problem. I do think that this might have been a connection problem, but I'll explain a little bit more of that in a bit. First, we got to do the free air test. I got my subwoofer on the ground right here and let's get straight to the free air test. So now that the subwoofer is working fine for air, let's get it inside its box and see how it performs. I'm 
So now I'm done testing the subwoofer and I'm glad to say that it worked. So I'm not 100% sure what it was, but it was most likely my connection to the subwoofer. So I am glad that my subwoofer isn't broken and now it should be performing a lot better. So if you guys are experiencing the same problem, then you probably wanna check your connections to your subwoofer because that most likely is the problem. Let me know down below in the comments what other audio related videos you guys wanna see. And hopefully I can get to making a video with your guys' recommendations. I appreciate all y'all for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something new today and I'll see y'all in the next video.